there are six challenges that the kids are going to have to choose from. And I have tried to summarize them, especially if your child was not at last week's meeting. Please, please take 15 minutes to watch this with them because I think it will really help in one of our next meetings. We will actually vote and decide on the challenge. And then after that, there will be a lot more details to the challenge. So even if you look at it and you or your child thinks, oh, this is so easy, it's, they're not necessarily easy. There are a lot of details because we have a lot of weeks to work on them before the tournament on March 14th. If you have any questions, ask Jennifer or me. Please have a look at this video with your child and hopefully it helps. Thanks. Technical is called the big fix, all right? Okay, pretty simple to remember because you're gonna fix a problem. You are going to build a machine, yep, or a device, this might be messy, that solves a problem. They can be simple machines, they can be robots. You'll find materials and you make these. Again, this is a technical challenge, okay? Now, they showed us an example. I saw an example of some of the um, people who work at Destination Imagination doing this. This is what they did. They said the problem is that this pizza business isn't getting any customers. And they didn't really have a lot of money to do anything. So the guy said, oh, really, I want to buy one of those blow up things. You know those blow up things with the arms yeah. that sway like that? Yeah. Those funny things? He said, we really need one of those, but I don't have money. So he just went in his garage and he found a leaf blower. You guys know what a leaf blower is, oh, right? Oh, I know what they're going to do. It's like do. the opposite of a, a vacuum cleaner. So then he got plastic and he put the leaf blower in it and he made it. He solved the problem of the, of the pizza place not having good business. Like you guys are gonna spend weeks making a machine. You have to make it yourselves. And then when you go on stage, you're gonna do a play that explains your invention process. What the problem was, how you invented it, how it solved the problem. That's the big fix. That's a very quick explanation. And it could be, and it could be any problem. Because pizza's popular. And you guys, and by the way, you guys will work together to figure out what the problem is. We may spend two whole meetings deciding what the problem is, right? Okay. So that's the big fix, and I can, I'll can i go back and answer more questions about it later too. Engineering, this is about engineering. You guys know what engineering is, right? Putting things together. Um, you're gonna build a bridge out of what? Do you guys remember? Oh, out of cards. Out of playing cards. 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 Here's the deal. The bridge has to be strong. It's just gonna be made out of playing cards and I think duct tape, right? And it has to have weight on it. And you can put something heavy on it, very heavy. You're gonna get extra points if it's, if it's something that you make to go over the bridge. And when you arrive at the tournament, you actually will make it on the stage, but you will have prepared ahead of time making it together as a team. And there are a lot more details about that, but that is, um, that's the engineering one. Yes, Bito? Um, oh, doesn't it need to be a certain type of tape and a certain type of card? Yes, that's, mm -hmm. and uh, there are, yeah a lot more details of these, but we won't get into those until you pick what you guys want, okay? So I just want you to go home and think about it. Okay, here's the next one, you ready? This is scientific, it's called first encounter. This is the one where you're gonna pick a species, okay? A real one, not a made up one. And you're gonna pick a habitat that this species lives in, okay? They're together. And then you're gonna pick a different species that all of a sudden comes in to this habitat. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna research and learn about whatever species oh, you, hold on. You're gonna research and learn about whatever species you, you can research all sorts of species and figure out which one you want, learn about habitats, think about which one might be interesting to you, and then figure out what this other species is, and then figure out what would happen to the habitat or the other species that went into this totally new habitat, right? Like if all of a sudden you, you went to the moon, and you don't live on the moon, you're a human living on the moon, how does that affect the habitat and how does it affect you? And you will do a skit, you'll do a performance on stage to talk, to illustrate how that happened. You might have costumes, you might build a set design, like paint a set and everything. Okay, are you ready for this one? Two, this one is called Picture This. It's fine arts, it's considered the fine arts challenge. This, you're gonna find a photograph, it could be any photograph, of an animal, of a person, of a painting, whatever, something that exists that everybody has access to, not just a picture that you have at home, Evan, of you and your family, but one that's like on the internet, in a magazine, in a newspaper, any kind of picture, okay? You're gonna pick this picture, right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a performance to explain what happened before that picture was taken and maybe what was hap what happened after oh, that picture was taken. I know. And you're going to make up a character who's not seen in the picture, but has something to do 
with what's happening in the picture. Does this make sense? Yeah. Okay, a yeah. lot more details on that one too. The next one is called service learning, okay? Another cool one. These are all really cool. You're gonna pick a need that exists. And Evan, to your point from earlier, a real need. So a need in the community, oh. in the world, in the country, in your school, in your, uh, in your neighborhood, whatever. A need that exists, like we need all the buildings to be the same color. Let's say that's not real, but let's say that was the need. It has to be a real one, right? And then you have to figure out how you're going to solve this problem or this need. And before the tournament, you're going to have a community event with some other people to help meet this need. This is, and you're also going to do a theatrical performance around this. And you're going to show how you, how you met this need. This one is going to be very very focused on time management, which we talked about today. You guys are gonna learn how to do timelines, like what are the most important, the milestones, the most important things we need to do over the course of the next oh, weeks yeah, to remember. meet this need. Do you remember this milestones. one? Milestones. You remember milestones? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we're gonna get to the one that you were asking okay. about, Evan, which is the last one. This is the improv one. This one, you guys, <laughs> so at this, this one is not just what you might think. What happens is Destination Imagination is gonna give us a list of superpowers. Some of them are ones you've never even heard of before. Uh, tele telekinesis. Oh, I know. You heard of that? Okay, and there are a bunch of, bunch of other ones, okay? And you guys are gonna pick eight of them. And we are gonna research what those superpowers are. Some of them you're gonna know what they are, right? Super speed, whatever, you know what that is. Some of them you're not gonna know. You're gonna research and you're gonna learn all about the superpowers, right? Okay, then what's gonna happen on the day of the tournament is that you guys are gonna pick out of a hat. And you're gonna go, oh, that's our superpower. Then you're also gonna pick out of the hat, remember this, an underwhelming power, like a power that's really not a big deal, like your fingernails changing color. Then you're gonna pick a conundrum. A conundrum is a problem, right? Then what happens is, super um, hero, the good, the good guy, who has the underwhelming power. And then there's the villain, who has the superpower. Okay, hold on, okay. hold on. And then there's the conundrum, which is the problem. And the superhero is going to try to battle the villain to get over this conundrum. So over the course of the following weeks, you guys are gonna keep practicing with different superpowers and different underwhelming powers and different conundrums because you don't know what you're gonna get. When you get to that tournament, you're gonna go, oh my gosh, that's our conundrum? Okay, let's improv it. And you just act it out. That's all this one is. And it, but it yes. takes it takes improv. It means that you can't plan it. The other ones, you plan the entire thing. I will point out to you that the things you guys have done so far are instant challenges. You have a few months to work on this. You guys are going to get to be so good as a team that that might not be as big of a concern for any of these. You are you guys are going to disagree sometimes, but you're also going to learn how to vote on stuff and be like, you know what? I kind of think I like Evan's idea. Okay, yeah, I do too. And then you'll go with his idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? Tell me, do you have any questions about any of these or, or any comments? Anything that come to mind on any of them? Anything, that, any concerns? No. How would you explain the, um, the picture, this one? So you take a picture of something and then, like, you describe what happened after it or before it or who's in that picture that you don't see. Ooh, very good. You don't take the picture, yeah, you, you find it, it exists. Like on John's studio, it could it picture. could literally be, you know, a picture of, um, dog. of Lady dog. Gaga or, or something, like you accepting dog. an award. It could be something like that. It could be anything that exists. And then the other thing is, you guys are going to make up what happened before and after. It's not something that actually did happen oh, before or after. Shoot. Does that make sense? What? Yeah. Okay, any, another question. Did I, yes. What if it's like a picture that like doesn't really make sense? Like, um, let's say it's like a picture of John Cena, and then you say a rabbit comes in. That doesn't really make sense. Well, that's a good question, but you know what, by the way, you guys will spend, if you pick that one, you guys will spend a couple times pick, picking the picture. You guys will work together on picking what the picture is. You can look, we can look in the internet and in magazines and we can figure that out together. And then you guys can come up with a, whatever kind of story you want to. It's really up to you as a team. Noah, how would you explain the serving, service learning one? Um, so what's, what are you trying to achieve? What, what's the focus of it? Oh, oh yeah, you have to meet a need. Yeah. Um, like, you oh, can't yeah. just be, I don't like, if some, if, um, if, like, um, just pretend, like, a lot of places didn't have water, and, but there was, like, this giant lake, um, 
and so you have to like try to make it so that other people could get water, like with pipes and all that. Very That's good. That's very or good. Like that yeah. pizza one. Or exactly. Uh, you know what? The pizza one. No, Evan. I'm glad That's, you brought that up. That's what that is mm -hmm. different because Evan. The reason that's different is that this one is about a real need, and this one and can be thing. made up, right? Because mm -hmm. they made that up about the pizza place, right? Does anybody want to explain? Um, uh, Bennett, can you explain how about the big fix? Um, you know, they build the machine or a device that you need to fix it of like spare parts. It, that it fixes a problem. Like yeah. the pizza. It, yeah, like he built that thing out of the leaf blower. So, Addison, do you want to do this one? Yeah, okay. sure. Oh. So, what you have to do is you have to study all of these superheroes. Powers. Know, study and superpowers. Look at superpowers. And study them, study them, study them, study them. And then study. you have to pull out a hat. A problem, the villain, and a superpower. Power, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. but and mean, then you have yeah. to make up a story, and um, like then you don't get to plan anything. You guys would end up... Yeah, Yes, you guys would end up practicing things that are made up on the fly. That's what improv is. Improv would be like right now if I said, Abby, you have the superpower of reading people's minds, and Evan, you have the underwhelming power of um, having uh, extra large toes. And now your problem, is, the conundrum, is that the city is under siege by uh, large snakes. And then, I -da! Stop on and then you go on stage and you would have to do the thing. But I would just stomp on all the snakes. What we would do over the course of the weeks, just like we will do with all of these, is just kind of practice the ways that that can go down. And then some of them will learn to build something, and some of them will learn to perform on the fly, and some of them will be analyzing a picture and picking out what's going to happen. And then like in this one, picture this, you're going to make a performance to show you'll be acting out what happened before the picture and what happened after the picture. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Bennett and then Evan. Doesn't the superhero get the better power? No. Them? No. The superhero it has should. the underwhelming power and the villain has the superpower. It should have the superpower because it's called super. Well, and then that's the just the way this challenge is. Okay. And what was your thing? Um, can I get some water? We're done, actually. So.